What's up, folks? Good Monday evening, November 9th, 2020 is the date, about 8.30 p.m. West Coast time out here. Going to do a quick coverage of earthquake activity around the globe here, looking at the uh, last 24 hours or so of earthquake activity with the latest globe or uh, earthquake here on the globe. It is a 2.5 out there right around the Nevada-California border area. Looking at the rest of activity around the globe shows a lot of red and pink color rings, or light red, I should say. Uh, color rings indicating much older earthquake activity over the last 24 hours so pretty uh pretty quiet for the most part there are a couple fours around the uh, western part of the pacific ring of fire also over here into the uh, indonesia islands area and to the west there 5.0 uh, but other than that pretty quiet folks a couple deep earthquakes down there near chile overall very quiet worldwide activity here's the trimmer map real quick i know i've been covering this a lot and there's definitely a reason behind that. Here's today's date, right? Showing 655 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone there. Once again, and it uh, looks like uh, aside from the main points that we've seen last night there in Northern Cal, Southern Oregon, and up here west of Seattle, uh, some new activity here around the Olympia area and also just to the southwest of there. So uh, continuing, definitely continuing as uh, far as trimmers go along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Here's that 2.5, uh, 2 where'd it go? Let's refresh that and see what happened there. Could have swore I seen it there. It just disappeared. Not for sure what happened. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe that is it, the 2.5 there. Should be red though. It was red and then uh, as soon as I zoomed in, it disappeared, so. A little, little bit of activity out there, folks, along the uh, Southern California area as well. You gotta go down to the uh, 2.5 below the 2.5 threshold in order to see that but still overall very quiet as far as um, your daily activity goes very quiet down here along the San Jacinto Fault and of course down here around the Salton Sea area not a whole lot of earthquake activity to report at all same goes for the activity up here around Nevada and into Idaho and uh, looks like a little bit of earthquake activity there around the Yellowstone Montana area it looks like the USGS finally issued that um, we did see that last night on the uh, Yellowstone thumbnails. Uh, today it looks like they had a few more up here around the northwest corner of the park near Maple Creek. You can see all these earthquakes here, these independent red quakes and also these blue quakes are localized earthquakes in the vicinity of uh, this seismograph station which is in, in the northwest corner of the park. You can see all that activity up there. So no major swarming folks, just a little bit of activity. Um, over here towards the Washington area, Mount Rainier still seeing some microquakes there, and also around the Mount St. Helens area. Other than that, uh, we're pretty quiet out here as far as global earthquake activity goes. Um, covered the trimmer map, Yellowstone looking pretty quiet. So, anyway, folks, got to cut it short. I do have my nephew here, and uh, definitely on a time limit uh, when it comes to uh, uh, being able to get an update video on. So. Have a good day. Um, please stay safe out there. It's going to be cold out here where I live. We're actually, well, yeah, it's actually starting to feel like wintertime out here, believe it or not. We're underneath a freeze warning. I mean, not too often do we go well below freezing, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be around 25, 26 degrees here around my neck of the woods here in Northern California. So, yeah, kind of nice. I, l I enjoy the cold weather. I'm tired of 100 degree temperatures. We had, oh my gosh, summer's... This, been, this has been the summer of 100 degree days and fires and smokes. Smokes? <laughs> Fire and smoke. Not good. But uh, this shall pass, right? Anyway, have a good day. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe, everyone. Peace out.